It's scary. <laughs> It's very scary. Brianna Smith of Cleveland is concerned about her two sons and thousands of other children six years old and under now facing a serious threat from lead paint poisoning. State and county stats that indicate more than 30 percent of children in some neighborhoods on Cleveland's east side could have lead poisoning issues. Smith says it's harder for inner city mothers to fight this alarming problem on their own. You're trying to, you know, survive, especially as a single mother like myself, and you're not always thinking about, you know, how safe a place is because it seems okay from the outside. The enforcement in this area, lead abatement, was a disaster. Cleveland Councilman Michael Polenzik says the city health department is to blame for Cleveland's lead paint emergency, a situation he says has been allowed to brew for more than two decades. And to have one inspector working the entire city? Come on now, get real, get real. I took the case to the Cleveland mayor's office to get the latest and learn the city is currently training six new inspectors who could be on the job within three weeks. But Councilman Kevin Conwell says it's also going to take a grassroots campaign and education to get the lead paint issue under control. Knocking on doors with Cleveland Tennis uh, Association, we will be visiting people, talking with people so we can have an up-close view of, what, of what's going on.